thinking your way out of a situation without panicking takes courage because you have to sacrifice time or yourself and what your needs are to help your teammates. So my name is Martin Hartley, I'm a photographer, some people call me an explorer, I prefer the word adventurer because I'm old fashioned. Proud dad of Ginny, my border collie who's named after Sir Reynolds Fiennes' first wife. And I've spent the last 20 odd years documenting expeditions that have travelled two parts of the planet, deserts, mountains, jungles, polar ice caps. Three expeditions that stand out the most for me are the my Arctic Ocean journeys where I've been working with scientists to collect ground truth data and in the process of doing that photographing the sea ice and the state of the sea ice. I've even documented creatures from 4,000 meters on the bottom of the Arctic Ocean that were a new species earlier this year as part of a project to capture as much genetic data as possible from creatures living in the sea before they disappear. I think probably the most physically challenging moment on an expedition happened on day three of an Arctic Ocean expedition. I got frostbite on day three, took my socks off, saw my toes and they'd gone classic aubergine colour and I thought well if I'm going to lose my toes I might as well lose them on the expedition rather than lying in hospital bed feeling sorry for myself. Ultimately I just gave in to the expedition what the expedition needed to do which was we were there to document sea ice thickness for X number of miles over X number of days. I thought I'm here to stay and that decision was hard but once it had been made everything was manageable. If there's any weakness in a team, in a person, in a piece of equipment, the cold will find it and dig it out. The cold is very good at breaking things and people and mental states. When you're offering yourself to be in a team, you have to commit yourself to the aims of that mission, whatever it is. That's how you get a team to work, to have the same philosophy within the team. Whether it's too hot, too cold, too dry, too wet, too windy, not windy enough, a sense of humour will get you through any amount of pain. So my next project, which will be my um, magnum opus uh, as a photographer, is to go back onto the Arctic Ocean and document the last of the oldest sea ice. That sea ice is ice that protects the planet from solar radiation during the summer months when it reflects back over 80% of the radiation back into outer space. Without that layer of protective ice, we will have lost the fight for climate change. I'm working with NASA and the European Space Agency and the Japanese Space Agency JAXA. They're going to help the expedition locate where the most likely spots are for that sea ice. It's not just a photography expedition. We're going to get some data that the scientists desperately need to help recalibrate the satellites so they understand what is actually happening. So when I started off as a photographer, my aim was just to photograph beautiful things and I thought that was very shallow. But over the last 20 years, those beautiful things I've been photographing have become really meaningful things for the environment, for society, for human culture. And my aim as a photographer now is to use the photography I've taken and the photography I'm going to do in the future as a mechanism for educating people how important the environment is to them and how important it is that they protect the environment by changing their own lives, changing their behaviours.